View from the top. Business leaders review the news on video for FT.com. This week, George Roberts and Henry Kravis of KKR in this segment discussing the government's role going forward. Before we get to your initiatives in the capital markets and asset management, which I definitely want to touch on, let me just ask you finally on this part of our interview, if Tim Geithner was to say to you, what steps would you recommend? How do we cure this, to use your word? What are your prescriptions for him? Well, I think the, they're doing some of the right things. Obviously, the governments in the world have, you know, basically a backstop the banks. We have too big to fail. Uh, that's the right thing to do. They've stabilized the banking system. I think the one thing that Bernanke did exceptionally well is he understood uh, what could happen if they didn't move quickly and very decisively. And if you look at, compare the, what the EU did, uh, the European Central Bank uh, compared to the U.S. Federal Reserve, uh, the U.S. Federal Reserve started lowering rates much sooner and much more dramatically uh, than the European Central Bank did. How do you see the opportunities that have been thrown up by this incredible dislocation? Is the government a good partner for KKR? Look, I think, you know, it really depends uh, what the situation is. You know, to make a blanket statement saying the government is good or bad uh, as a partner, you know, I don't think you can, you can do that. There's no question um, that uh, the government does have, obviously, a, a much cheaper capital than anything we will ever have. Uh, we, we looked uh, at quite a few of the banks over time, and we, we turned them down. Um, and once the, uh, the, because we couldn't see what was in the banks, you just, I mean, even though we were in and looking, you still couldn't see, okay, where's bottom for this thing? And, the, uh, and then once the government uh, put the TARP program uh, together and the $700 billion, uh, then, then they were the competitor. I mean, they provided the capital at a much cheaper rate, so we couldn't compete with that. That's, that's correct. I think there may be some programs uh, where uh, it will be appropriate for us to partner with the government. I think one area in particular that I think is a very big need and an area where we will uh, have opportunities to participate is in infrastructure. Yeah, most most of the government that we're looking at for an infrastructure state state and local governments as opposed to opposed to the federal government. You know, this all boils down to uh, our investment thesis that we have, which is can we understand uh, what's there, and can we create value out of it. And uh, simply just buying a pool of assets and a highly levered uh, uh, vehicle because the government's willing to give you more leverage than the markets will be and sitting there and just running off the assets and giving the money back to your partners is not what we do. So if we can find a way that that meets our criteria so that we can understand the dynamics of what we're doing and we can find some way to create value out of it other than just clipping coupons, we'll be very interested in it. Many people have voiced reservations about the governments wanting to be able to change the rules. Is that something that disturbs you that the potentially the government can change the rules? You mean the United States government going in and abrogating and changing contracts and practices? Sure. <laughs> you know, it should bother everybody in this country that uh, you know, we're, we're a nation of laws and precedents and, and uh, rules that have been established. And for somebody to come back in uh, after the fact and retroactively change a law or put in a tax that changes the outcome of something uh, does not give the markets confidence. Do you think the government understands that to get private capital in, private capital needs to earn a certain return on that capital? Well, sure. sure. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, they they understand it. <coughs> that the question is, they understand it, but are they willing to accept it? What happens if that uh, return is too high? Uh, you know, is that going to bother the, the the taxpayers? Is that going to bother the the government representatives? Oh my gosh, they took our money and they made all this money on it. Should we put some kind of a surtax on? That's crazy. If they if they're just talking about it, will scare away people from wanting to participate in any program, whatever it is. 
you know, private equity has a lots of other alternatives as opposed to financing government programs. Uh, you know, we have opportunities in our existing portfolio to put more capital in to make more investments and, and do what we need to do. Uh, and, and the, you know, businesses that we know something about, whether we're not taking the risk of somebody changing the rules on you. It's sort of like, you know, uh, Lucy and Charlie Brown with the football, you know. The football's there and, you know, Charlie every, you know, uh, fall runs down to kick it and Lucy picks up the ball and Charlie falls on his butt. I mean, you don't want a, a system that works that way. That was George Roberts and Henry Kravis of KKR on the government's role going forward. You can also hear them discussing the evolution of KKR. Next week, Bob Kelly of the Bank of New York Mellon reviews the news on video for FT.com's View from the Top.